we played a very good offensive team today, and uh, we did not do enough to slow them down. Uh, offensively, we scored 79 points, shot 49%, had a positive assist to turnover ratio, got to the free throw line a decent amount of times. We just uh, we couldn't come up with stops when we needed to. You know, there was plenty of times we had to cut to one, cut to three, cut to two, and in the last six or seven minutes, and, and we just had no answer. So give them credit. They scored when they needed to. Um, I thought there was a lot of plays in the last three or four minutes that were 50-50, and we went uh, 0 for 5, 0 for 6 on 50-50 plays. So I think we needed to get two or three of those because a 50-50 play is exactly that. You're supposed to get half of them, and we didn't get any of them. So disappointing. They are a good team. They made the plays. We did not. Uh, I do think we're making progress, but I think uh, the difference between winning and losing is, is one or two plays. And right now, uh, we just couldn't find a way to make those plays yet. But, uh, but we're getting there. We're not where we need to be, but we're getting there. Lafayette got up by 10 almost halfway through the first half. You guys were able to cut it to three going into halftime. What was going right through that last uh, 10 minutes or so of the first half? Well, they were too comfortable before that point. They were scoring very easily. They're on their way to well over 100 points uh, as far as the pace goes. And I thought our ball pressure, we, we became a little more disruptive defensively. I thought we got some deflections. We made them feel a little less comfortable. We actually cut it to one. Um, and then they scored to make it three. So we actually got it from 10 to one. And I think credit our defense. It, it, the intensity picked up. Uh, the, we were able to be a little more disruptive. in the last, I think they only scored two points or maybe four points in the last six or seven minutes. And, and, and two of those four points were on the last basket of the half. So, um, and we were able to carry it over to the beginning of the second half and then we just, we couldn't get stops when we needed to. That, that's what it came down to. Uh, Lewis, 12 points, eight rebounds today. Uh, a little bit more of the production we'd seen in the first couple of games of the season. Uh, for you going up against a team, a little bit bigger front court, but guys willing to step out and shoot 15 foot jump shots. Uh, how did that affect your game uh, defensively to know those guys were willing to step out? Play oh, I don't think it affected the game really defensively because we play a lot of guys that do the same thing in our conference. Most of the four men in our conference aren't, you know, back you down, you know, six, seven type of guys. They're about the same as, same as me. So, I mean, I don't think that really affected me. But, you know, like Coach said, we just didn't get stops at the end and we couldn't score either. So that's just a bad thing. Evan, it was one of more, your more efficient games today. Uh, 15 points, uh, 5 of 6 from the field. Um, it seemed like Lafayette at times was content to just let you guys just try to stay out on the perimeter as much as they could. Um, so what was it for you on the perimeter to know when to pick your spots and attack you? Well, I have to understand that teams are playing me as a driver now, simply due to the fact that I'm shooting very poorly from the three-point line. But I just pick and choose my spots to be aggressive and, and attack the rim when I can and not force it when it's not there. Uh, 70, 79 points, you said, is still enough to win a basketball game. Uh, but only 11 assists on 27 baskets. Do you think Lafayette saw something from the Hofstra film that forced you guys to be more of a driving and penetrating team? Yeah, I think so. I, I think when we drove the ball, uh, they didn't help as much from the perimeter. So they kind of dared our guys to, to, to finish on their drives. Because uh, I don't think we missed a ton of guys. And, and we did. I mean, Evan was 5 for 6. Chris was 5 for 11. Um, you know, uh, Dave Hahn was 4 for 8. Even Glowiak was 3 for 6. So uh, they were daring either forcing us to make a play or, or foul us. So I, I think a little of our assist numbers were, had to do with that. Um, the other thing I think it had to do why our assist numbers were down is we didn't stop them enough. So we weren't getting out in transition as much as we did against Hofstra and some other games. So, so a lot of our transition offense is predicated on getting a stop and a run. Now we do run on makes, but it's a lot tougher. And, and they did a good job getting back. So, um, you know, their defense, this game, we knew it was gonna come down to who was able to slow the other one a little bit more, slow down the other team a little bit more, and they did. You know, they slowed us, you know, they shot 55, we shot 49. Both are bad defensive efforts. Ours was just a little worse. So we shot 44% for three. They shot 41. Again, neither was good. Um, 
we got to the line quite a bit more, but they, they only missed one. They were 13 for 14, so we only outscored them by four points on the line. You know, if we shoot their percentage, then maybe we close the gap. So it wasn't a, lot, wasn't a big difference in the outcome. Very small margin, but that's, that's what games at this level are. The margin is very, diff, uh, very small, and, and the difference between winning and losing is one or two possessions. And uh, we got to figure out a way to get those one or two possessions because this is probably our fourth game that was a one or two possession game that we did not come up with, you know, with Brown, Holy Cross, Boston College, and here. So, uh, but uh, we're close. We're just not there yet. We got to keep improving. Uh, for the players, uh, a market improvement, I think, over the last couple of games, rebounding. Just what goes in? What goes into that? Just uh, in terms of practice and getting better at getting the shots. Just gotta be hungry. As you guys just tell yourself, nobody's getting that rebound besides me. You know, I, I've only had three games this year that I would say were pretty good games for me. I, I had about three, four games where I only had one rebound. And that's just laziness. I just, I, if I don't do it, nobody else will. That's, that's how I think about it, going to the game. So the last few games, I've just been saying, I mean, if, if I don't go and get the rebound, nobody else on the team will, so I might as well go and get it. And having you had three rebounds today, what's it like for a guard having to know that when shot goes up, you got to be able to box out, even though you may be 15, 20 feet away? Yeah, well, coach always says don't turn it in, especially when we're playing a three-point shooting team. There are a lot of long rebounds, so I kind of have to find my man, not really box him all the way out, but just contain him from getting the rebound and allow either myself or my teammates to get the long rebound out on the perimeter. And like Lewis said, we just have to be hungry and be focused on, on rebounding because that was what was hurting us at the beginning of the season.